Pixar has just rolled out RenderMan 27, and it is being hailed as the renderer's biggest upgrade in recent years, bringing a complete rewrite of the engine to be compatible with today's modern hardware, because as you may know, this is like a dinosaur among render engines. This means a host of exciting new tools, better performance in addition to other things, so let's see what this new version is all about. I believe the highlight of RenderMan 27 is the RenderMan XPU, Pixar's hybrid CPU plus GPU render engine, which is now officially ready for final frame rendering. By the way, not just previews. In previous versions, the XPU was mainly used for interactive look development, but now it can handle for production quality frames, which is exciting, effectively stepping in for the older RIS, which was a CPU only engine. As you can see, this upgrade isn't just about flexibility per se, because it is also about speed. Pixar knows that the XPU is often 2 to 10 times faster compared to the RIS, in typical scenarios that is, giving you much snappier feedback while lighting and shading scenes, and I'm sure everyone will appreciate this. So with the XPU taking advantage of both CPU and GPUs, you can iterate more quickly, and Pixar even plans to deprecate the older IRS in favor of this high performance and unified approach going forward, which to be honest seems exciting. Also, RenderMan 27 introduces a range of new creative tools, especially for non photorealistic rendering. So, let's talk about the Stylized Looks toolset, which lets you render in cartoon, sketch, or paint your early styles. You see, it has been fully implemented in the XPU and greatly expanded. But what does that mean? Well, this means you can now achieve everything from hand drawn comic book lines to watercolor like painterly effects right inside RenderMan all with the XPU speed to back it up. As you can see, these stylization features open up a lot of possibilities for artists, which means you can give your scenes a unique illustrated vibe without needing the separate MPR renderer. And by the way, Pixar worked with artists to refine these tools, so they feel intuitive and ready for production use. Another interesting feature in RenderMan 27 is the new interactive AI denoiser, which a lot of people will appreciate. This feature uses machine learning to intelligently remove noise from renderers on the fly, even when sample counts are low, which is going to be useful for a lot of people. So in simple terms, as your image is rendering, the denoiser cleans up the grainy bits in real time, so you don't have to wait forever to see a clear image. And this dramatically cuts down iteration times during lighting and look development. Since artists can adjust the lighting and detail without needing a completely noise free render, and this is important if you factor in every tweak. The denoiser has been trained on production data, making it impressively good at preserving fine details. And this version doesn't stop at images alone. It also brings composite and workflow improvements, especially to VFX work. For example, the new XPU can output deep image data and support holdout maps for compositing, meaning artists will get precise control when layering rendered elements into live action plates or other scenes. Features like Deep OpenX are output, with deep IDs allow for better integration of volume effects and transparencies in post production. On the lighting side, XPU now supports mesh lights and all the physical light types, so any piece of geometry can act as a light source with full realism. Look development is richer now too, simply because Pixar has introduced early integration of Material Axe Lama, which is ILM's advanced layer material system. And this points to one thing, more complex and realistic materials being possible in the upcoming updates. And here is the kicker. The good thing is that Pixar has already put RenderMan 27 to the test on a real project, their upcoming Toy Story 5, which is being lit using XPU, and the team reports that it gave artists unprecedented interactivity for cinematic lighting. Faster feedback from XPU meant lighting artists could focus more on the creative decisions, which, as you might expect, helped them to work faster and iterate more freely. 
Other studios are taking notes as well. For example, the co-founder of Lomatic, a VFX and animation studio, said their lighting team was so impressed with the XPU's performance that they are eager to move to XPU for final rendering on their new projects. And the good news for everyone is that RenderMan 27 is out right now. It's gonna be a paid upgrade for studios, but Pixar also offers a free non-commercial RenderMan 27 edition with all these new features enabled. This means hobbyists and independent artists can also download it and use it for free, which is actually amazing to think about. All these cutting edge technologies at your fingertips. So if you're interested, you can go check it out right now. And there you have it, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more news like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.